Hello and welcome to today's Spacecast. Today we're looking at a, a different, I suppose, aspect of the Christian life, um, a spiritual aspect. Well, I suppose it all is really, isn't it? Let me ask you, do you, are you a fighter? Are you somebody who fights for things? Or are you rather more passive and let things happen? It can be good either way that we can do those things. If we're passive, it might mean we are um, able to get alongside people and just be with people. If we're a fighter, we might be standing up for ourselves or for others. So I wonder, are you a, a fighter? And what sort of battles do you encounter or do you rise up for? Is it injustice against humanity? Is it uh, for the rights of the individual? I wonder what you might be a fighter for. Law and order? Justice? Here's a passage that says something about fighting on battlefields it's what 2 corinthians the second letter of saint paul to the church in corinth chapter 10 verse 4 the weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world on the contrary they have divine power to demolish strongholds the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world so he's talking about we meaning the new christian church which is coming about and has now been about for 2,000 years. The weapons that we fight with are not the weapons of the world. So we're not picking up sword and spear or gun and rifle or rockets. We're not doing that kind of a warfare thing in this Christian faith. On the contrary, he says, they have, they have divine power to demolish. The weapons we use have a different kind of power, a spiritual power, a divine power. They come from God. And they are designed to demolish strongholds, not the kind of stronghold that holds gold or silver, but the kind of spiritual stronghold that enslaves or encaptures our hearts and minds. The weapons we fight with are not weapons of the world, so it's not a human battle, it's a spiritual battle. On the contrary, they have divine power, a power that comes from God. How does that power come to us? by the third person of the Holy Trinity, the, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the conveyor of and the bringer of these weapons. And they are there to demolish stronghold. And what are the weapons? What about prayer? Prayer is a spiritual weapon to demolish strongholds. Praying for something that is right and praying against something that is wrong in God's eyes. Prayer is an important spiritual weapon. So is Mm. discernment discerning between what is right and wrong understanding where people are coming from or what this movement is about discerning those things is a spiritual weapon that we might use what other weapons might there be um, what about worshipping God and worshipping Jesus and choosing to follow him by reading about him in his word to us the Bible these are all the spiritual weapons that we have when we gather together and sing songs of praise and offer prayers of worship, we are engaging in the spiritual battle to defeat spiritual strongholds. It's a war that we can all and must all take our part in. We can all pick up the spiritual gifts and spiritual weapons that come to us in order to engage for God in this world today. Bye for now. See you soon and take care.